What's going on guys, Don over at Easy Button REI and Beast Mode CRM, and we're going to talk through how to connect MailChimp uh, and your Podio, whether you're using our free simple CRM or using our automated Beast Mode CRM. If you're using Podio and MailChimp, this will show you how to add your sellers or buyers uh, to an audience. And then if you've got campaigns set up where when someone is added to an audience, they'll get a drip. You'll have to set that drip up um, and you'll have to create that content in the email, but this will get them to that audience, which when it's set up properly, uh, will drip out emails to them and get them back through to you. So a couple things that we're looking at um, is this MailChimp integration right here uh, using phases. Uh, if you've got roughly 100 actions, you can look at what they call actions a month or less. Um, it's going to be free. If you're going to do additional actions above 100, uh, we'll look at that, but it's nine bucks a month. The other option would be to use a Zapier connection to push the stuff through. So if you're using Zapier, we'll show both of those. Some of the positives and negatives is if you use this and you push somebody to an audience, and then if you remove them or they are removed or unsubscribed, it will automatically uh, update inside of Podio when unsubscribed. Uh, and we'll show that in a minute. If you're using Zapier, you would potentially have to uh, do, do, do a zap to add them and do a zap to remove them. So we're gonna show some of that stuff today, go through uh, the requirements. Uh, but really the first step before you set up anything, you would wanna create an audience inside your MailChimp account that you're gonna be adding these people to. So start there, log into a MailChimp account, get your audience set up. Once that audience is set up, you're gonna wanna look at, um, this phases thing, get this up. Uh, I'll get a link to it for you. Uh, but then we're gonna go into your um, template inside of Podio. And you can see we're in one of our beast mode workspaces in the testing template. Uh, and then you're gonna click on the property lead app if you're trying to add people to the sellers. Now I've gone in and added this field right here. So if you are an admin and you click modify template, you're able to add different field types. You can see I've added a category field. so over here, category field, and then I added these two uh, fields and then click done. Now that they are here, I wanna make sure that um, before I start setting up the uh, integration with MailChimp and Zapier, um, I would wanna make sure that I clicked these buttons, one of them. Um, so ideally this add to audience, you wanna have that as a trigger. So if that's what a trigger is that you're gonna be using and wanna look for, you're gonna go ahead and click that button now before you set up the zap. Because you've got all this information in here and this is what we're gonna use as a trigger because you've clicked it, there's gonna be a test item available when you go to set up in MailChimp. So with that said, I'm gonna go into Zapier. This is where you're at. So you can see I'm inside here, I've created a zap and pointed to Podio is when something happens in Podio, I want an item update type and then I want it to do something in MailChimp. So that's what you're gonna be setting up. So the first event is you're looking for the Podio uh, connection point. So you'll have to connect it to your uh, Podio and it's gonna ask you what your org is. This is your org name up here by the square and then your workspace name that it's gonna ask for is right here. So you're gonna be looking for that. And then it's gonna be in a Podio app item update. That's what you wanna do. Here's where you choose the account. You could have it named something different, obviously, than that, but your account for Podio, it's connected. It's looking for that org that I brought up by the square. Here's the name. That's the app. I'm not gonna worry about a view. That's the app. Data, when we go to test, this is where if you had clicked it, the testing side of things uh, would allow you to go ahead and grab it. So let me see if I can retest now that we've done that. Okay, let me go back and retest that. Okay, so we have everything connected like I showed you. We go to continue, and when you're setting this up, it's gonna give you an option to test and review or test and continue. Normally I'll do a test and review. This will bring up some of the data that you can see uh, of what we've clicked on and pushed, and we see that it uh, has a text value of add to audience. So that was that button that I was talking about. Um, now in between here, I always do the filter and you're looking, you're looking for the uh, name of the field inside of Podio. So 
add to audience campaign text value. That is what we're looking for. And I can go back and show you. Um, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that as a trigger. That's what we're looking for. We're going to select that. We're going to say contains, let's see, exactly matches. Add to audience. And then continue. See, it tells us that it would have gone through because that filter was selected. So this is only going to happen when that button is updated and selected. And now we need to point to MailChimp. So you may need to log in and approve access to your MailChimp here if you've never had MailChimp clicked before, but you're looking to add a subscriber for this uh, specific video that we're kind of talking through. MailChimp account. So this is where you've logged in. It wants you to access that MailChimp account. Now that audience that you created before will be able to be selected. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click this one. Subscribers email. You're going to look at the Podio information right here and you can uh, show all options. You can scroll through here or start typing email. Okay. So you type out seller email because it's a field name. And if you type that out, you can see here, that's going to pop up. It's got the email address. Go ahead and pick that. Double opt-in, I'm going to leave this as false. Update existing, sure. If it's already there, go ahead and update it. I'm not going to replace any groups. You could apply a tag if you wanted to, calling property lead app or whatever it is that you want to add if there's certain things that you want to add to it. Now, first name, it's going to be from Podio. Uh, we've, kind of, oh, we've got it set up right now inside of Podio where there is a seller's name. So there's no first name, last name. If that's something that you want and you want to be able to push into your audience, you're going to have to add those fields uh, as well. And so make an option of uh, either having them up here or maybe put them down towards the bottom so they're not clogging up your area and just know that you're going to fill those in before you push it or add it to audience. Um, your choice, or you can leave it as is and just push everything as the uh, first name into that audience. Totally up to you how you want to handle it. For now, I'm going to put the I'm going to type seller's name. Meant to search here, sellers. Okay, seller's name. So if I typed up the name, you can see seller's name, uh, the equaled amount for the field is right there. Last name, like I said, I'm going to leave it blank, but if you add these first name, last name fields inside of your Podio, you could fill these in. Address, we have that in Podio. We can search. Now it's asking for the street address. So you have the street address. We can go through these different fields, put in the city, the state, everything for these fields. And this will all get pushed into your um, MailChimp area for this audience. Makes it a little bit easier to find them if you're doing lookalike audience retargets on Facebook, things like that. So I would suggest if you have it, put it in there. All right, you can see we've got all the address in now. We're pointing to the different fields. I typed in USA for country. Uh, phone number, I pointed to the correct field for seller's phone. Get all that, and now we'll go ahead and click continue. All right, we see all that is in there. Test and continue. Okay, zap is now turned on. Everything went through, and now you would want to name your zap and make sure that you turn it on. So, so Podio to MailChimp, and then turn it on. All right, so now it's on so that when you're inside of your property lead app, if you click add to audience, it would now create this record inside of your audience. Uh, with Zapier, depending on which account you have, it may take five to 15 minutes or it may be instant. It depends on which account you have uh, with Zapier. So just take that into account, but that would add them to the audience by making these different adjustments and clicking the button to push it through. Uh, next, we're gonna do the direct integration that I showed you with phases and kind of talk through what that looks like. All right, before I jump over to phases, I wanted to show you inside of the audience with MailChimp, all that information that uh, came in. You see where it pushed in and it has the uh, address and everything in here with uh, the email. So all that push worked with uh, Zapier to get it over. And now we'll move over to phases connection. Okay, so if you see up here in the URL, this is the extension. It's by the company phases, the MailChimp integration. If you Google search MailChimp to Podio integration, it'll come up as well. Click get extension. Uh, and we'll be able to connect it or sign in with our Podio. So if we sign in with Podio, it'll ask us to grant access. 
we can do that. So go ahead and approve that. Now with the phases integration, you're going to be able to point using uh, add to integration, or you see over here, add to integration. Uh, normally what I would use is the create contact sync. You're going to point to the MailChimp account. You may have to log in uh, for it to see this. Again, you would have wanted the audience to be created uh, prior to doing this. All right, we're clicking the org, as I mentioned before, next to the square grid in Podio on the upper left. That's the square item. It'll say your org name. Now you'll pick the workspace name. And now you'll pick the Podio app that you're looking for. Okay. Now, because we added the uh, add and remove fields for audience inside of this connection that we're doing, we're going to point to that. So email campaigns is the name. Add for subscription. Unsubscribe is going to be remove. And for an email address, we're going to point to the seller's email. Work is fine. You can change it here if you wanted to. Um, if you were going to add additional information, a couple things to think about with this one. If you want to do the first name and last name, again, you can add those fields at the bottom and add that in for this specific requirement if you're adding them to an audience, or you could simply just add the full seller name like we did in Zapier. That's an option. Okay. Um, let me go back here and put it back to email, add the plus. Okay. Um, now, on the address and phone numbers, one thing to take into account, it's looking for specific field types that are not in there um, currently. So if you had fields that would feed into the address, that's one option. Phone number would be a phone type. Not, it's not in um, not in beast mode or inside of simple CRM out of the gate. So right now the options are really just to put the name and the email address uh, unless you add those additional field types. Uh, for this integration. So with that said, this is what it looks like right now. If you want to add those other field types, you can, uh, and you can make that connection. And then you'll have to choose. Do you want to sync existing Podio information? So the property uh, items, anything that has that button click, do you want to push it forward? And then syncing, do you want to push the stuff backwards, existing data from MailChimp? Most of you, if this is a new audience, you can keep this clicked. If it's a audience that already has people, you might want to unclick this. You'll have to make that decision. Name this, whatever um, you want to do for a connection point. Finish. And now this is set up so that when you connect, um, or I should say click, this add audience, it will add to the audience inside of MailChimp. If you were to remove somebody or they unsubscribed, it would automatically talk backwards and click remove from audience in here so you could see that someone had been uh, removed either by you or by re requesting to be removed. Whereas, as I mentioned, the MailChimp side, you would have to set up something else uh, to remove them and uh, a secondary um, zap. So there's kind of the niceness of this connection where it goes back and forth like that. Whereas the MailChimp, if you're just looking to add people to an audience very quickly, very easily, MailChimp might be a better uh, option. It's a nice way to connect it. Um, and you're not having to worry about potentially the extra expense, depending on how many people you're pushing uh, to it if you're already paying for mail uh, for Zapier. Um, and so that's kind of one of the things that, uh, you know, people have been asking about how do I get people into MailChimp into an audience? Once they're in an audience, if you have the correct account, you can set up an automated email and you're going to be able to select based off of uh, what you're doing here. You can set it up so that when somebody gets added to an audience, they start on an automated drip for you. So that's built into MailChimp. In MailChimp, when you set up an automated drip, you can make it to where, hey, if this person is added to this audience, they'll go ahead and get email number one, and it'll keep on dripping until they unsubscribe or whatever the case may happen where they get off the list. But nonetheless, that's how you can get somebody from Podio to a automated drip inside of MailChimp and some of the different connections and options. If you guys have questions, feel free to uh, either post down on below the video or reach out to us at uh, support at easy button REI. Or for those uh, Beast Mode members, support at reiautomationsquad.zendesk.com. And you guys have the different uh, Facebook groups that we'll be posting this in. Need help, reach out, and uh, look forward to helping you all. Take care.